Welcome to this Google Apps screencast. In this screencast, we're going to show you how to resolve conflicting Google accounts. This occurs when you personally might have created a Google account with the same email address that was created for you by your school or business. So to start this process, you should open your browser and go to google.com slash accounts. So here I am at the accounts page. I'm going to sign in with an account that I know is causing problems. So again, this was an account that was created. It was a personal Google account, but now a Google account has been created for this person under a Google Apps domain for a school. So we're going to sign in with the full account. And when you do sign in with the personal account, if you get this window, this is what we're talking about. This is a message that's alerting you to a problem that's occurring because there are two accounts created under Google right now with this address. So I'm going to walk you through this process and try to explain the steps that you can take to free this up. So here it's basically telling you there are two accounts. Uh, there's a video here you can watch, you can click on to watch. I'm just going to go again through the process. I'm going to go ahead and click get started. And you'll get two options. The first option will tell you, the, uh, it says tell us which data belongs in your organization's account. So this will take anything that was in this personal account and move it to your school account. There will be two things that will happen here. One will we'll say that you can do this and it will basically take the data, maybe your documents, uh, if you've created any calendars, uh, if you've created anything else with any of the other Google tools. If, if, if it says that this option is available, you can click next and start that process and basically it will take all your files from that personal account and merge them over to your school account. What we see here is that this account is saying that this option is unavailable. So we're going to click next to see what option it gives us next, which then takes us down to the second option. It says select a different address for this personal Google account. So because for whatever reason the data can't merge with this account, we are given the option of either creating an account with, the G, uh, with Gmail and a new gmail.com address. And this has to be a completely new address, so even if you have a personal Gmail account. It says, unfortunately, we cannot move your data to an existing Gmail address. So that's your first option is create a whole new Gmail address for this account. The second option is to create an account that uses a non-Google address, a non-Gmail address, and it'll move everything over. Uh, and the only option there, the only uh, downside there is you won't be able to use Gmail. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick the first option. There's not that much in this personal account. I maybe only used it a little bit. Um, or even if I did use it a lot, it would still benefit you to, to create a, a new account just to change the name so that there's not any other problem with that. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. And I'm just going to make... Check availability. That is available. I'm going to make a password for this. I'm going to choose a security question, and I'm going to make this just easy so that I can get back in here. And I'm going to go ahead and click continue. So what this is doing now is asking me to verify my account, so I would put in a a phone number here to do a text message or a voice call and this is just this is a step in their process in their security process where it doesn't you know they want to make sure that it's not somebody just making accounts for making his account purposes so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in a number and hit send verification code and I'm gonna jump ahead just so not everybody sees my phone number and what it's doing now is it's taking everything from that temporary account. Prior to this, uh, the personal address was showing something with, that was all funky with a bunch of symbols that said temp account. And it's basically saying, here is your new account. Now, if I go to some of the other tools here, so that, that took me right into Gmail. So now I'm under this new account. So I can see that all the data that was in the original uh, Google account, the original Franklin K12 WIUS account for this person. Here are all the original files. So the files are still here. They're just in a different account. Now if this is something that you do in fact want to move over to your uh, to your new school account, a very easy way to do that would be to make a collection or make a folder. So you can just go to create collection or create folder. 
depending on what choice you see there. I called it Franklin. If you check the box here next to title, you can check everything all at once. And I'm going to click on the little organize tool and I'm going to say I want to assign all these files to the Franklin folder. And now that I see that they're all assigned to the Franklin folder, if I share that folder, I can share that folder over to the school account. So all these files will in fact show up over there. So if I go ahead and type in the address I want to share them to, make sure they have edit rights, and can send a message or not send a message, I could hit share and save and that would share that folder over there and then all those files would be available. The other option is you can download files out of Google Docs or Google Drive at any time. You can check the box to select files or you could do this, you know, select by folder. If you go under the more choice, there is a choice here to download. When you choose to download, it gives you the file types that it will download those files as. So I could essentially download these all out of this account's Google Docs. And then once I have that, that zip file, I could open that up. And I could drag all those files back into the school account. That's just if you want to shift everything and move everything and get it all in one place. Uh, let's say you've made this account and you've, you've stopped the problem from happening where it said that you had two accounts. Let's say you just want to fully delete this account. That's very easy to do as well. Once you're signed in to the new account, you can go to go back to uh, google.com slash accounts, or you can go up and click on the little name up here and go to account. Either one will get you here. When you get to your account area, if I zoom this up a little bit here, uh, when you're on the account menu, there's a choice down here that says delete entire Google account. You can click this and you can actually start the process to fully delete that account. So Different options there. Basically, you just have to make it so there aren't two accounts out there with your school's address. And this hopefully will help you do that. There's also some written instructions included on the uh, site where we're putting resources for you. So please check those out if you need any other help. Thanks so much for watching.